Hello, today I welcome you to Marvel The Watchers and in this video I'm going to show you pretty much everything about this Starking BM0965. Let's see what it's all about. So these are kind of a new series I'm starting, the Unfound Gems of AliExpress. In these videos we are going to take a look at watches on AliExpress that don't have many reviews but they have very good specs for the money and this Starking is the first one to be featured on this series. I have another unfound gem coming in in a couple of weeks. If you know any of these gems that are worth taking a look at, please leave them in the comments down below and maybe I'll feature them on this channel. So today we got what I believe is not only the cheapest watch with the Sapphire Crystal but also the best alternative to the Daniel Wellington on the market. This Tarkin caught my eye during a flash sale, the first thing that attracted me was of course the price. And then I saw the claim of Sapphire on the dial which blew me away because the watch was only 19 euros or a little over 23 dollars and that is the cheapest watch with a Sapphire that I've ever seen. Now the price is about 29 dollars and still I don't believe there is a cheaper watch with a Sapphire crystal out there. If you're interested the link is in the description down below as always. In the next video we will be taking a look at this SKMEI1633 and I will compare it to the Casio G7900 that it is based on. So if you're interested make sure to subscribe and now let's see the watch. This is a very simple watch so the video won't be a very long one. So first comes the packaging, the box that it came in is simple and nice. It has sort of a bamboo texture and also there is a logo and brand name on top. Inside you're greeted with an instructions manual a branded polishing cloth and the watch itself in a plastic bag. Rather simple and everything is done nicely. It's great that they include a box if you decide to give this watch to someone. The dimensions are basically the same to the Daniel Wellington, 40 millimeters in diameter, about 42.5 millimeters if you include the crown. Because of the quartz movement it's very thin, comes in at about 6.5 millimeters in thickness, 46.5 millimeters lug to lug, 20 millimeter lug width and it weighs 42 grams on the supplied leather strap. This is the first time I've tried the minimalist style watch on my hand and I have to say it looks pretty good. 40 millimeters is about the maximum I would go for when it comes to these minimalist slash dress watches so in my opinion they have done a great job here with the size. The band is not great as expected but it is doable until you find a better one. It's a black genuine leather strap with a glossy finish. It suits this timepiece pretty well. There is a starking and genuine leather embossed on the inside of the strap. I thought it's going to be very stiff but it is actually quite soft. It will take some time to form to the wrist but overall it's decent. Also the stainless steel buckle is signed with a brand name and the 20mm lugs allows you to find a variety of straps to pair it with. Something like a blue parallel would look nice in my opinion. The case back is secured with four screws. It is nicely engraved with the Starking logo in the middle and then the basic writings like water resistant, the model number and such around it. Inside I would guess there is a Miyota quartz movement working. I might be wrong but it seems likely. As you can see it is highly polished as is all of the case. The case is made out of stainless steel. The polishing is done nicely, nothing to complain here. Also they do this one in gold plating with a white dial. There are holes on the sides of the lugs so the strap change should be fairly easy. And I like the slim lugs, goes well with the minimalistic look and makes the watch look a bit more elegant. Now comes the most important part of this review, the crystal. There are claims of this watch having a sapphire crystal on the case back and on the dial so it just has to be sapphire, right? Well, it is actually true. I tested it with my diamond selector tool and it reads sapphire. A great addition for the price and it increases the overall durability because the crystal won't scratch up as much. So again, if you take into consideration the fact that the Daniel Wellington has a mineral crystal, the exact same build quality and costs almost $200, you can clearly see that Starking wins in all aspects. The dial is very simple, Starking brand name on top and Sapphire on the bottom. Then there are the basic applied rectangular indices and the second mark ring around the dial. The printing is done precisely and I couldn't find any dust particles, fingerprints or anything like that under the crystal. I like the slim hands and the fact that they didn't apply the second hand which almost always doesn't hit the markers on these cheaper watches and that again adds to the looks. There is no loom shot because this watch has no loom. The whole presence of this watch although nothing new is quite nice. It is just a clean watch if you're looking for something from minimalist line of watches. The operation is easy, pull out the crown and adjust the time and that is pretty much it I believe. 
So there you go, here's my review of the Starkin BM0965. It wasn't a very long review because the watch is rather simple and it is based on a watch that is also very simple. In my opinion, it's well worth the money if you're looking for this style of watch. And it's way better than Daniel Wellington. For 15% of the price, you're getting pretty much the same watch. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out of the same factory, but with a sapphire crystal. And it's elegant, I kind of dig this style. The purchase link is down in the description and as always if you have any sort of questions or suggestions please leave them in the comments down below and if you like my video please leave a like and also consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you'll get notified when i upload a new video and now thank you for watching i'll see you next time